Daddy never raised me up to call myself a nigga Probably picked that up in elementary, I figure Older kids that ask me, is you bloods or is you crippin'? Man, I'm in the fourth grade, I go to school to pay attention Cause my family is faithful, least some Baptist church goers 1524 Lemon Street, that be the corner That I caught my first fade with a peewee in the alley and Hollywood is calling and they talking about some deals Dealing with the type of pressure that can make a diamond feel so defined uh, Still will kill Bill thrills on my mind And all these rappers on my plate, they like the rib to my prime Ooh, gluttony, good religion cover me Going in the Guinness Book of Records for this utterly disrespectful flow An intellectual, introspective, perpetual player with plenty of time To say just what's on my mind Now listen, this average dabber fabric is in my skin They say we born to lose, but boy we built to win What's up, it's Rock Your Minds. I have the talented, the realest, John Gibbs here at Broke LA. What's up? What up, what up, how you doing? How you Good, doing? I know you feeling anxious. You're about to perform. We're about to hear some Soul Rebel, or what What are we expecting from yourself? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna play songs off Soul Rebel. Um, I'm gonna do this little get a bar fiasco, and then, uh, yeah. Play a couple more covers, you know what I'm saying? Switch it up a little bit, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna hear some 2004 elementary. Yes, it's about to be lit. I wish you guys were here, but don't worry, I got you with the footage. I wanna talk about your message with your music. Now, I've, you know, I've seen interviews about your story. You're a PK. Yeah. You know. To an extent. <laughs> yeah. You know, Christian rap, a lot of people like to label you with your music because of your spirituality and your religion. However, you're authentic and you're staying true to yourself, not what people want you to be, even though you're good with God. How is that like, like being able to just voice? Your, it's like pretty much your freedom. Have you always been like that? Well, I don't know, like... like Traditionally, like I never came into a faith, like traditionally, you know what I'm saying? Um, even though I had like a, a, my dad, you know, preached at church and stuff like that, it just didn't, for me, translate into me getting it automatically. So when I finally got it, it was like this unconventional way that was very authentic to just what I was surrounded by. So, you know, I was able to speak to my homies about God in a way that nobody else could speak to him. So that's just kind of where it all... I feel you. And that's amazing. And I, that's why I love the name Soul Rebel, where that came from. Because, I mean, I can relate. I'm, I'm good with God. Like, me and God have our own relationship. However, I do have certain people in the church that'd be like, oh, you should interview only Christian bands. Or Christian, it's like, why should we select certain people based on their choices in life right, right. when we can just set the example? Exactly. We have that platform, so I love that. So let's get into Soul Rebel. Yeah. What was your mindset going in making that album? Um, I wanted to kind of make sense of just uh, adolescence, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of that album was me reflecting on growing up and like what brought me to the point of like recognizing the value in me, like in my soul. And then also recognizing that there's just things about me that I don't think will ever change uh, uh, just because of what I grew up around, you know what I mean? So it'll come off as if I'm just a rebel with no cause, but really, I do have one, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you can't see it on surface level. You gotta spend some time trying to figure it out, you know? So I'm building a website right now called Decide.us. It's spelled T H A T H A S I D E dot us. You feel me? Yo, it's John Gibbs and I just rocked your mind.